Nope. Nope. His poison's back into a cage. Take it. Take it. Take it. I don't need it. You didn't have a gold pass. I felt pity for you. Bow before the kindness, kindness of them all. Mm, it's an orange juice. Welcome to season 13 beach battle. But really, it's shipwreck, but... Cleaned, cleaned up. up. We all love clean beaches, so I can't complain about that. First things first on the agenda. Gotta collect all of our free rewards. Yes. 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 I really only need uh skeleton dragons. Strikes. They never they work? It worked? Wow. This legendary arena pack is a really good deal. It's four times value. If you need gold, 50,000 gold for a thousand gems is actually pretty decent. There was a time when I bought wagons and wagons of gold for 4,500 gems for way more gems. I don't get a small commission for this, even if you use code OJ because it's worth gems. We only get commission for the packages deals that you buy, including the season pass, anything with a dollar value on it, which we will buy right now, actually. And just like that, we have the season pass. Thank you everyone that does support us with that. Even if you don't use code OJ, you need this pass. It's so good. And let me show you why. Because we're 5-0 in the wizard challenge. First, we've got a signal we've already defeated him by fireballing the king tower. Then we just wait. Boom. Just like that, we <laughs> are 5-0 undefeated. Zero, Zero losses. losses. The only freaking reason why we lost... I'll show you what happened. So I literally had no tank killers, and he sent a giant, he takes the first tower, whatever. And at this point, his giant does not connect to my tower, the left side does- cannot get through. We start overwhelming him with Lava Hound, Lava Hound. Literally on the bottom left of the tower, he didn't deal any damage for the full two minutes. Right there, Lava Hound spits, almost lands, take out the left side to buy me time to take out the right side. He used that Hog Rider emote all game too. Oh my goodness, I was so cheesed. But it doesn't matter, we're 5-0. Let's check it out. Magic Archer's still good as ever. Ice Wizard is a good pick as well. I'm gonna have to take the Fireball because I gave myself Magic Archer and I don't want him to counter my Magic Archer. Because I gave him Zap, he's gonna be able to wreck Spear Goblin, so I'm gonna take the Minions. Miner or Goblin Giant, they're both pretty good win conditions. Goblin Giant is going to be one of the best picks for draft. I've been saying that since the beginning of time. It's got the Spear Goblin things, it can take care of small things, it can kite things, it can it can do the dibby dab doo be doo doo boop boop pop pop pop. Oh my gosh, that's 300 damage on Spear Goblins because my ghost was not the right answer to that. Well looky here, we got them zappies going on, alright. As noted in the balance video, it does stop the Dark Prince and Princes. And then maybe I'll do a knight in the front there. Maybe I'll do a goblin giant now that it's in rotation and commit 10 elixir and then lose everything in the process. Yes, please. I'm going to fireball all of that. It's going to fireball the rascals, the minions, everything else. That knight is still tanking. The zappies are dealing full damage to that ice wizard. Knight's connected. Oh my goodness. That was 2,000 damage on his tower right then and there. Should I do roll recruits? I'm gonna do roll recruits. I'm gonna do four on the right side though. There we go. Oh my goodness, baby dragon's the perfect counter to the roll recruits. If it can deal enough damage, when the left side connects, one hit, two hits. All right, we're doing zappies. Just look at that. Zappies are back. They deal so much damage now. Could have done a ghost, but I already overcommitted a ton of elixir. Oh my goodness. Okay, my Zappy took out that Rascal. Oh, making it more threatening. That's annoying. Now I have to do a Ghost on that Rascal girl. Oh, dear. How much does my Fireball do? You hold it down, 201 damage. Nothing's changed. Okay. You know what? I'm going to Fireball that. We're Fireballing that. I don't want to deal with no Dark Prince. And that's free value damage in the tower. He's got a baby dragon in the back. Well, he's gonna do roll recruits then. No, I'm good. Let's take care of all of that noise up there. We don't get the baby dragon to splashy, splashy minions on the miner because it's DPS. Holy heck. That is a lot of baby dragons up there. You gotta pull that magic, that healer. Nice. Goblin Giant connects no matter what. That's not fair at all. Okay, we got a Dark Prince, and we're gonna do roll recruits. 
four on the left. Protect that magic archer. <laughs> I missed that arena already. Perfect 1-0 victory. And just like that, undefeated to unlock the Ice Wizard. We don't even need the gold. We literally got 4,000 gold from that. That was so worthless. The only thing we need is Skeleton Dragons. It's still only level 11, so let's see if we can claim our reward for that. Any Skeleton Dragon? Skele- Road Delivery. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Just my luck. Let's get into this next match. Golem could be good, but it's too early to say. Roll Giant is obnoxiously good in this, especially if there's no counters. Rocket and Roll Giant. Nah, I'm going to make his deck extra expensive. We're bringing it up. I'm going to take Skeleton Barrel and just keep making his deck really expensive. <laughs> We're going to take the Flying Machine because that's going to counter the Balloon. Okay, good. We have Ice Wizard as well. Do an Ice Wizard in the very back. Let's see how he responds to this. Let's go. Oh my mm. goodness. I gave him Princess and I got the Log. That's such a victory. I could have done Skeleton Barrel, but we'll do Valkyrie early on. Played a little conservatively. By conservative, I mean not conservative at all, because that was a 7 elixir push. Uh, we'll do a Flying Machine in the- Oh my goodness, yes! Alright, I need to do a Hunter there. Maybe we'll block that and tank with the Skeleton Barrel. Oh my, that is- that is rocket value if I ever saw Alan. At least the Hunter didn't get hit by that. So we're good. We're, we're still up. Hunter get one hit. Yes! It's a lot of damage. I don't know how much, but that was a lot. Logaroon is the princess and we're good. So far, it doesn't really look like he has much to answer my Valkyrie or my Roll Giant. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Does he have any Swarmies? He's got a big P.E.K.K.A. Okay. Well then, I'm gonna have to do a Flying Machine. He gave himself P.E.K.K.A. Golem. And Rocket. That is not a good deck. That is heckin' expensive. Oh my goodness. And he has Inferno Dragon. He literally has the tank counter to his tanks. I don't need, I don't even care about Inferno Dragon. He can do whatever it wants. Okay, OG. It's time to buckle up because um, I don't have Hunter in rotation. Oh dear. We're gonna have to do Fire Spirits there. Still not enough. Ooh, gets a hit. Now it's double elixir. He's gonna have golem, Pekka, balloon. He's gonna have the works. The works. That's what he has. I'm, gonna, I'm waiting for that. No, no inferno dragon. Okay, that's chill. Still no inferno dragon. Okay, this is it. This is the massive push. He's got rockets, so I'm going to stagger my flying machine on the other lane. Oh, beautiful. We'll do fire spirits because I'm going to stagger the Valkyrie into the center pocket there. Just enough to tank for the flying machines if I needed. He's going to want to rocket the right side if he can. If he can. If he can. Oh, beautiful. Log that and we're good. Boom. Perfect 7-0 victory. Oh, so satisfying. I gave him the cheesiest deck. Look at that. <laughs> He's got Golem, Pekka, Rocket Balloon. He's basically got a 5.0 deck. He literally only had Inferno Dragon to counter his own cards. The, what a bad deck that he got. Zappies, I know they just got reworked, but I'm feeling the Ice Wizard a lot more in this draft challenge. Skarmy's always very good. Skeleton Army or Battle Ram. Battle Ram's gonna get stopped by the Zappies, but it's it's a solid win condition. Why the heck not? I'm gonna let this pick for me. I like them both, but I already have Swarmies. I already have Splashies. I already have Ground for Battle Ram and Ice Wizard. So, let's see. Starting right off the bat, let's do an Ice Wizard. What a smiley face. The Goblin. That's, that's money. I'll do an Executioner on the right side to take care of those two Zappies. Oh my heck. Uh, does the balloon make it? That's sketch. Okay, he's got a prince. Oh my goodness. Come on, bandit live. Oh, shoot. Not good. Does that scar me enough? Oh my goodness. 
have to do a minion horde on that thing? Ah, oh, freaking heck, fine. I'll just do full send the battle ram then. He's got skeleton barrel to defend my minions. Oh my goodness. He's defended a nine elixir push. I don't feel good. I feel nauseous. I think we're gonna lose. And I just had to defend his counter push with an executioner. And now I have to counter push with his executioner. Now I'm down 10 elixir. He's so bad. And he perfectly counters my counter to his counter with a Valkyrie. It's so bad, I gotta let that Valkyrie connect to the tower once. Ah, that's fine. Ice Wizard slows down the Valkyrie, then goes on the Roll Ghost. It's almost double elixir. We're doing it. We're doing a golem on the left side. The Zappies, they don't feel like they're like a permanent stun kind of thing anymore. I'm digging it. He only has Skeleton Barrel, so let's see if he can kind of handle this. Oh my, he's got poison. He's freaking got poison. No, oh my goodness. I, we gotta take out that Prince with that Earthquake. Earthquake is such a bad card now. Oh look, I have a golem to counter the roll giant. Feels bad. This is exactly like my last opponent. My last opponent had nothing. Oh no. He will have poison for that. Or ice golem if it's on his side. And then skeleton barrel. Just back to back bad luck. He perfectly counters me. Yep. That's not good at all. We're just gonna full send this. Can't get through the zappies. Earthquake does nothing. It's so bad that it doesn't slow attacks anymore. It's such a bad card. You it's literally a full a card that can only be played if there's a building now. It's so bad. And it can counter Skarmy. But that's about it. Okie dokie. He can't get through as fast. Let's try and stop that prince. Oh! Okay. Wait for it. He doesn't have- he doesn't have skeleton barrel or anything- Yep! Batram connects! Yes! 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 This is the best connection so far. He didn't have Ice Golem. He didn't have Barrel. He didn't have anything that was necessary for that. Okay. Do we Earthquake? Please. Take it out. Yes. Nice. We're going full send on the left side. Full send on the left side. He's going poison. That's not enough. That's not enough. That is not enough. Nope. 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 His poison's back in your cage. Take it. Take it. Take it. I don't need it. You didn't have a gold pass. I felt pity for you. Bow before the kindness, kindness of them all. all. I wanted you to win. I have the season pass. Infinite, Infinite continues. continues. Zero losses. You can't lose with a season pass. Okay, let's get let's play for real now. I do like the flying machine. Goblin gang would have been more versatile and safer pick though. Elixir Collector is so bad in this day and age. I already have Barbarian Hut as a tank killer and Flag Machine to support that. So I'm going to go with the Ice Wizard. It's going to be very good for everything. It's just versatile. Hog Rider right there. Wild. I basically have a free Night Witch for an exchange of 500 health in my tower. So we'll see how this Tango goes. Wow. He's got an Executioner perfectly lined up for my Royal Giant. Okie dokie. We'll let those guards do its thing. I could do a Valkyrie. But the Ice Golem or the Ice Wizard is going to be a little bit cheaper. Haha! -ha! I dealt more damage. Yep, there's no way he's going to connect with the Hog Rider. I have the Barbarian Hunt in rotation now. I have Snowballs. Yep, that's, that's value. Snowball takes out those guys and we're good. 
He does have Executioner. I don't really want to give value. The Night Witch with the Barbarians are just going to make the Executioner so perfect. Lined up. Geometry. How does it work? I'll do a Valkyrie in the back, and then I'm going to stagger my Flying Machine so the Executioner is not going to get crazy, crazy value. Do a Flying Machine right now just while the Barbarian's tanking for the Hunter. Oh my goodness. He's got a Lightning. That's fine. Everything's fine. Did I say Elixir Collector was bad? Because I have no counters to it. Oh my goodness. Feels bad. Wow. It, it didn't connect. Executioner is going to get at least two hits though. At least two. Oof. That was almost three. It feels like I'm losing, but I'm not. He put Hunter in the back. He, he needed that for the roll giant. We'll do a flying machine. Oh, dear. Oh, he missed his lightning. You, sir, are doomed. Guards on the Valkyrie. Risky move, sir. Risky move. We're going to do Spear Goblins in the very back. Stagger that noise. And we're going to do a Royal Giant right at the bridge. Knock that Executioner out. Oh my goodness. Defensive Elixir Collector. It's over. It's over. Did I say it's over? Because it's over. He missed his Lightning earlier. Lightning with Hog Rider. Would have been good for that. Undefeated. That is how you do it. Zero, Zero losses. losses. 10,000 gold, holy heck. I'm excited for this giant rage. We didn't even get access to it in the dev build, so they said he's stronger. So the giant is permanently raged. Cool. That emote alone is going to be worth it. That's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Good luck in the draft challenges. And as always, try to build a really balanced deck. And if you have a chance, give your opponent a 5, 6, 7, 8 elixir deck. Until next time, stay tuned for more quality OJ.